red in the tapestry, though its color brightly shine. Can never see its purpose in the pattern of the grand design. And the stone that sits on the very top of the mountain's mighty face doesn't think it's more important than the stones that form the base. Um, it's just me, Miss HTG Girl, and I am here with a recipe I came up with uh, the other night. It's called Cajun Crab Spinach Quiche, and it's my version and my take on a P2 recipe. If you don't mix proteins or you don't mix vegetables, you might not want to try this. But I was having trouble, and I had a gain the other day, and I tried this, and the very next morning I had a 1.4 release. So... This is what we're going to start with. I want you to go get you a measuring cup or a bowl. And um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure one-fourth a cup of all whites. And all this is, if you don't have all whites, is get you some egg whites that equal one-fourth of a cup. Okay? All right. One egg, one whole egg. Um, a fork, get a half a cup of water, just cold water will do, and as you can see, it brings you up to the one cup line on your two cup measuring cup, and that's the goal that you want to get here. So go ahead and mix your egg, your egg whites, and your water. Um, now we're going to uh, add some seasonings into our eggs. We're going to add about a fourth a teaspoon, uh, actually half a teaspoon of parsley. So I'll put two of these because this is a fourth a teaspoon. So I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of parsley. Um, I want a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder. A fourth of a teaspoon of thyme. Everybody needs a little time. And just a pinch of rosemary, okay? Um, you're going to need at least two ounces of chopped onion and about the same of celery. And as you can see, I chopped it very, very fine. And it's about a six-inch stalk of celery, okay? So what I'm going to do is before I put that in there, I'm going to mix my mixture here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my celery to the mixture and my onions. And I also want to put in at least a teaspoon of garlic. I love garlic, okay, fresh garlic. And, well, how about a half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon of garlic, okay? So just stir all that up really good. You're going to need one cup of spinach leaves. And these are just raw spinach leaves. And I've already washed them and spun them out to make sure there's nothing wrong. Three ounces of crab meat. And I went ahead and I bought this at Walmart a while back in the meat department. At the end, this lump crab meat. And they're six ounce packages. And I just divide it in half into three ounces. And two ounces is 45 calories. So it's about 60 something calories for this for the three ounce portion that I'm putting in here. Get you some coconut oil spray. If you use coconut oil spray, you really don't want this to stick to the bottom. I use a corningware dish, but you can use any kind of baking dish that has a flat bottom and at least a lip, at least an inch or two high. So I just spray the insides of my pan. I'm going to line the pan with the spinach leaves, one cup of spinach leaves. Okay. It looks just like that. Okay. All right. Now we're going to uh, take our lump crab meat and we're going to put it. Crab is okay on P2, and we're going to just spread it across the bottom of the spinach leaves. Now you probably could do this with tilapia or fish or uh, even shrimp or the scallops. You could probably do it with any of those. I washed it off really well. 
um, for several reasons. All right, now you know that the last thing I forgot to put the basil in. I am a basil fanatic, so I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of basil to a teaspoon. Um, and we're going to stir this mixture up. And as you can see, the mixture is pretty liquidy. It's not very eggy, like gooey or whatever. It's very liquidy. So right now, we're going to pour this over our spinach leaves and our crab. And we're going to go all around, cover the whole dish, okay? Okay. Smells awesome. Now, I'm going to sprinkle a, a small amount of salt, because there's no salt in it, and a little bit of pepper. And the last thing I add is Tony Shasheries. Love Tony's. And I'm going to sprinkle it all over my dish, because I like Cajun seasoning. And we're going to put this in a 375 oven, which you should have preheated from the beginning. We're going to go ahead and put it in for 40 minutes right now. Okay? Stick it in the center of the oven and let it cook. And um, I just want to tell you guys right now, I'm going to post the recipe in the comment section of this vlog, but this recipe adds up to 199 calories. That's your protein and your vegetable. And um, I'm going to have the whole recipe at the bottom so you can make it. And I will be back in a jiffy. Hey, guys. Uh, I have about two minutes left on my timer. And I'm going to check and see if my quiche is done. And all you need is a fork. And you probably want a pot holder. And we're just going to pull it out. We're going to check really quick in the middle. If it comes out and it's not wet, you don't want it very wet. You want it to be more like a gel consistency. And this looks about done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out. It's done before the 40 minutes. Uh, your oven may be hotter than mine. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Okay. It's sort of like a big um, omelet, maybe. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. This is one portion, by the way, 199 calories for this whole portion. But I'm going to cut it in half, and uh, I'm going to show you here. Uh, and I scrape the edges so that it comes off really easy. Hopefully it will come out good. Okay, see how it all comes out of the pan? Put it on there, and you can put the whole thing now. You spray the sides with uh, the pan with coconut oil. It should come out pretty easy. And if you're on P3, you can probably modify this with a few other ingredients, which I won't mention now because I'm probably going to vlog it on P3, and I'll just um, call that one a P3 quiche. But um, I'm going to taste this right now, and I'll let you know if it needs more seasoning or not. But this is what it looks like. And uh, this is my Cajun spinach, um, crab spinach quiche. We're going to turn off the oven. And uh, let's see if this tastes good. It's very good. It's very filling. Um, I don't think that you'll uh, find um, the fla that it's without flavor at all. Uh, you can do less onions and less celery. I personally like the crunch. Um, but anyway, bon appetit. Peace out. How can you see what your life is worth or where your value lies? You can never see through the eyes of man. You must look at your life. Look at your life through heaven's eyes.
streak of gold in the desert sand is less than a cool fresh spring and to one lost sheep a shepherd boy is greater than the richest king if a man lose everything he owns has he truly lost his worth or is it the beginning of a new and brighter birth so high